Today I want to come to you about scams and how can you tell if you're getting contacted by a fake recruiter. What I'm noticing is there are a lot of scammers out there and especially if you're unemployed and you're really looking for that job, it is even beyond stressful because you want to do everything you can to, to land that dream job. So if you are searching for a job right now, I welcome you to get on my calendar. It's gethired.careers. And let's talk about your job search and brainstorm about different ways that you can search for that job and land your dream job in record time. If you'd like to work with me, great. If not, that's okay too. But at least we get you on the road to success for your job search. So let's get back to scammers. And look, you know, I'm seeing this everywhere now. And how do you tell if you're getting contacted by a fake recruiter? There are so many scammers out right now. And I don't know if you've seen on YouTube, former NASA engineer and glitter bomb creator, Mark Rober. I love watching his videos. So Mark, if you're watching, fantastic job. <laughs> I'm really inspired by what you do and how they're attacking that, that scammer market. But I want you to watch out for these signs. Number one, if they're reaching out through an unprofessional email, so it's not a business email, recruiters usually, okay, will have a business set up. So this way they can work with the companies. And if that email does not look right to you, be a little wary of that. Also, their LinkedIn profile. If they don't have a LinkedIn profile or if they don't have one that's fully set up, because look, Recruiters are showing their professional brand also. I welcome you to, to, to connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, if they don't have their profile fully set up, again, be careful. Now, there are some scammers who are breaking into, they're hacking into other people's profiles and reaching out and saying, I have a job available for you. And then when you contact that person, they say, no, I, I, I don't know anything about this because they're hacking into the accounts. And you've seen this on Facebook. You see it, you see it on LinkedIn. You see it everywhere. So it's not just one place. So just be careful when they do contact you. You do not need to give any personal information. You do not need to give any personal information ever until you're in the final stages of a job interview and an offer is being made. You do not need to give anything over the phone, such as social security numbers, birth dates. These things do not matter. I want you to be very careful. I've had some of my clients, some job seekers ask me about that type of situation because they did get those type of calls. And I said, no, don't respond. Don't give that information. I'll give that information to you when we're in the final stages. That's a nice, polite way to, to kind of get around that question. But otherwise, you know, shut it down. Check out their website. If their website, if they have a website, they may not have a website. There's a red flag right there. Again, you want to protect yourself every step of the way through this job search. The goal here is to get you hired. If you're in the job search market right now, you're looking for your next career opportunity, you found yourself a victim of one of these mass layoffs going on right now, or you're just a job seeker or you graduated last May and we need to get you a job because it's just not working, grab time on my calendar. It's gethired.careers. We'll talk about your job search and how to get you hired rapidly. This is Eileen Ryan. I'm an executive recruiter and job search strategist sharing the insider secrets from the view of the recruiter. Have a great day, everyone.